Hello and welcome to race number 8 of season 2 here in the Olive Garden Cup series. We are live from Talladega. So this is the first time we are here at Talladega in season 2. We will be returning here in race number 13, I believe. Anyway, this is the Aaron's 499 and uh... On the pole, you got Jeffrey Buckeye along with Tyler Everest. Then the points leader, Jason Taylor and uh, Colin Bartel. Uh, you know, I've been beginning to, to suspect that Colin Bartel does not watch the full races of this series, so hopefully he does. Then rounding out the top five is Zach Corbett, who, if he does not comment on this race, he will be taken out. Then you got Matthew Ziegler. Ben Cannon, Jake Smith, Brad Johnson, and Alex Jones. And, uh, I said Zach Corbett in this number two car is in danger of losing his ride. And another person is, uh, Colin Bartel. Like I said before, uh, it seems like he's not been watching the full races of this series, so if he keeps doing that, then I might kick him out of the series. Anyway, that is enough of the pre-race news. Let's get you to the green. You're from Talladega. Here we go. 29 laps. Here from Talladega. And if you're wondering why the pace speed is faster, it's because I edited it to go to 100 here from Talladega. But anyway, here we go. Green flag is out here from Talladega. First race at Talladega in Season 2. And Jeffrey Bug Guy is really slow. On the start, looks like he could have a problem with his car, and that means Tyler Everest will jump out to the lead. Tyler Everest, your new leader. Let's check up on Buckeye, as... I don't know why he's so slow. He might have a problem with his car. So we go, here comes Colin Bartel for early, and here comes the number 45 of Fofo Murphy, along with Matthew Ziegler. And here comes uh, Fofo. And oh, they're going to make it three wide for the lead. Coming to lead it. The lead, the first lap, it's going to be Fofo Murphy. Just the whole pack just got about separated from Jeffrey Buckeye. So let's actually check up on Buckeye. Here he is. He was on the pole starting from first. Now he's all the way up to third. Now he's all the way in 34th. I think he might have dropped to last. So here's my. Oh, there we go. We got a crash. Oh, about two hands in a round. Oh, and a big crash. Multiple mal cars are in it. Ooh. The O2 going upside down. Alex Dawson's in it once again. First caution of the day, and we already got a huge crash. Let's lean it back to line. Lean it back to line was Matthew Ziegler as. Or as Michael Ziegler as Lola Redstone as George Roke. Dawson, who can just not catch a break this season. And there is. Joe Hansen, who went upside down. Let's go see what happened. Alright, here's what happened. Alex Jones, it looks like he's going to try and bump draft with the O2. Looks like that's... Or no, it looks like the 77 of Derek Noel got in the call in Bartel. Bartel's going to get into the O2. O2's going to go around and crash. This isn't the end of it, though. There's Jake Cole, there's Dawson in it, there's Roke, oh, there's Drew Austin. Then driver's side door goes Lowell Redstone in a hard crash for the number 02. There's a TV2 view of this. As the 77, once again, he got into Colin Bartel. Bartel's going to get into the 02, and wow, what a crash right here. As, uh, Dawson in it once again. Like I said, he can just not catch a break this season. He's been having bad finishes ever since he started 
at Daytona. And oh my gosh, what a hit. Was that driver's side or not? I don't know if that was driver's side. Yeah, that was driver's side. Ugh. Nasty hit right there. So let's take an onboard with Bob Johansson. Onboard Bob Johansson. Ooh. Gosh. How's the onboard with Bob Johansson? Let's get you back to the green here from Dega. Here we go. Here's the top 10 from Talladega. Matt P. Ziegler, Michael Wan, Fofo Murphy, Alex Jones, Hedgehog, Lawler, Everest, Murphy, Blazer, and Smith. After that wreck, we have about 25 cars left. So now our cars left after that wreck. Anyway, here we go. Green flag is back out from Dega. And Ziegler kind of got a good start, I guess. And oh, they nearly made it full wide once again. But they just backed out of it. As where is the points leader? There he is. And Michael Hagdahl is really slow. Looks like he did not get a good jump on the restart. But there's your points leader. I don't know where he's sitting. But he's in a good position, I guess. Oh, Jake Smith, I think, almost turned uh, Alex Jones. As these guys are really getting antsy. So we are still green. Ziegler has just taken over the lead. Like, big time. Ziegler led that lap. We're really concerned about these guys getting in a big wreck and possibly taking out most of the drivers. It's, here comes Higdahl. Looks like he's finally up to speed. As here comes Stephen Paul at the third, the winner from Joe Gibbs. Maybe he can try and make it two in a row. So they're going to make it three, one. Oh, there they go. Higdahl and Blazer around. Brad Johnson's in as well. We got Bill Crash. Bobo Murphy. Michael Hagel, who almost won at Joe Gibbs. Looks like he's going to be eliminated out today. It's going to be close, but leading it back to line will be Stephen Pard the third. Just a bad day for Blazer and Hagel. Let's go see what happened. A somewhat full-wide situation kind of right here. And luckily this wasn't a bigger crash. It was only involving about three cars, kind of, or four cars, maybe. There's Fofo Murphy going around. Oh, she got into a Tony Blazer, then the Jake Smith, and ooh. I don't think there's a safer barrier there, so hopefully she's okay. Anyway, that's all what happened. Let's get back to the green. And here they're going to be taking pit stops, so let's see what they do. Right, so the only one staying out, I think, is Logan Falconer. Yeah, Logan Falconer is the only one who's staying out. So let's see who can make it out first. So it might be Gas and Go. Gas and Go, possibly. No, oh, who's going to make it out first? And Steven, and oh, oh, well, it was close. That was close. Let's see that again. And it was Stephen Pollard the third. My gosh, that was close. It looks like he will, or no, Logan Falconer is now the leader. Let's get you back to the green now. Well, Logan Falconer is now your leader. Here's the top ten. Falconer, Pollard, Everest, Taylor, Williams, Jones, Sanford, Smith, Caps, and Bartell. So far, we only have 21 cars left after that incident. And here we go. Green flag is...
back out from Talladega. It looks like Stephen Pollard the third got a better start than Logan Falconer right there. Yeah, he did. He was, and he will jump out to the lead. Well, maybe not. So we're gonna make it full wide once again. It just bagged out in time. As here comes Jason Taylor for the lead. They're full wide. Oh, we're definitely gonna see another wreck. Come on, guys, save it. They save it. Wow. They're still going full wide. But yeah, they saved it. There you go, Jason Taylor, the points leader, and now he is the leader. So we got some guys kind of going down below the yellow. Lo oh, whoa, Dom Caps! Got really loose right there. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before in our 2003. Well, that was weird. It's Alex Jones. And he is now the leader. 10 Olkowski. It looks like he was going to try and make a move. And comes Charles Sanford. His best finish so far was 7th at Joe Gibbs, I believe. I believe that's where he finished. If I'm wrong, please correct me. No, we, not, we nearly saw another wreck. It so looks like Mason Williams almost got turned. Here come Oh, they're going to make it 3 wide for the lead. Looks like Warren's going to take the lead. They're going to make it 4 wide. Oh, Taylor's in the middle of this. It's like they're going to save it. They're still going 4 wide. Crazy. Ben Cannon almost turned Everest. This is the part... At Talladega, where it's really getting insane. Jason Taylor in the middle of this. If he wrecks now, that might hurt him in the points lead. Like I said, he is the points leader still. So this could be trouble for him if they wreck. As whoa, whoa, Joey Murphy going way down below the yellow line. He's in the grass. Seeing some wacky racing here from Talladega. As here comes Matthew Zealot for the lead. Jake Smith was the leader. And once again, here comes uh, Lily Murphy. She's been having a good season, that 49 car. So has Mason Williams. These are somewhat low-funded teams, so I'm surprised they're doing good, kind of. Ooh, 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 they're going to make it four wide again. Here we go. Will they save it? And right there they go, Mason Williams and Brian James. That does not bring out the caution. Caution's not out. That's Charles Sanford. Charles Sanford now going to take the lead. Here comes Colin Bartow and Alex Jones. I don't know what happened with Alex, uh, Brian James, sorry. I don't know what happened with Brian James right there. Here comes Bartow for lead. This looks like they might make it full wide again. Maybe not. Sanford is the leader. He's probably really happy right now. As he is trying to defend these other guys. And, whoa, Trevor Harvey coming down to the pits. There's all that smoke. Yeah, we got some guys coming down to the pits. Maybe unscheduled or scheduled pit stops? We do not know. Jacob Lawler will take the lead. And uh, here comes... Here comes Zach Corbett for the lead. Or not lead, sorry. Jacob Lawler, the Rockingham winner. He's now the leader. Here comes Taylor as a... Uh, I think uh, these guys are calming down, finally. I think. Whoa! Samper's now really slow. And, uh, comes Taylor for the lead. And, oh, whoa, they're really slow now. Oh, we got somebody coming, we got someone coming out of the pits. That's Logan Faulkner. 
Luckily, he didn't come right back up track. Otherwise, that could have caused a huge wreck. And Jake Smith will take the lead. I don't think he's doing so good in points right now. Here comes Ziegler, and here co Oh, oh! Oh! Oh, Jacob Wheeler! Just got dumped right... Oh, gosh, what a hit! Oh, my gosh! What was that? As Matthew Ziegler will lead it back to the line. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've never seen anything like that. As we will take you to what the heck happened. This could have been a full wide fail, but I don't know. Oh, it looks like this could be from Devin Smith. Yeah, I think Devin Smith, and, oh, gosh, and look at Lawler, back up into Alex Jones, into Everest, and Lawler going to take another hard hit, right there, gosh. Let's watch this, it looks like this could have been from Devin, Devin Smith, but, Honestly, if this was from Devin Smith, I don't know what he was thinking. Ooh. Look at Lawler flip here. Back up into Alex Jones. There's Everest. There's Walton almost getting in it, kinda. Here comes Falconer right into him. Well, hopefully Lawler is okay, because that was one heavy, heavy hit. It is again from Everest. Everest got to Mare as well. Hopefully Lawler is okay because that was just a hard, hard, hard hit. And so here it is in full speed from Lawler. Ooh! Oh my gosh, what a hard hit. Another hard hit right here. Here it is from TV2. Oh my gosh, what a hit. Right there, that is another hard hit. Let's take an onboard Jacob Lawler. Here we go, onboard Lawler. Really hope Jacob Waller is okay as we will get you back to the green here from uh Evan Dega. Stay tuned. Here we go. We only have about twelve cars left, so quickly here's your top ten. Ziegler, Cannon, Bartel, Smith, Pollard, Murphy, Taylor, Caps, Harvey, and Sanfer. And you got Corlett and Wong. Here we go. Green flag is back out from Dega. What are we gonna see? As Ben Cannon got a really good start right there. As Ziegler will go back to lead with help from Colin Bartell. And here comes Stephen Pollard the third. Here comes Murphy and Smith. As here comes Stephen Pollard looking for third. Oh, he's actually kind of dropping back a bit. As Don Cass just made some really weird moves. And whoa, whoa, Sanford, I think, just about turned him. And oh, these guys are coming into the pits. And that means Jake Smith will now be the leader of this race. Here we go, I think we got six laps to go. These guys are coming into the pits. Here comes Jason Taylor. Paul dropping back a little bit. And here comes Jason Taylor for the lead. He he has won a lot of races this uh, season. He might return to season three. I don't know. And Old Smith almost put the block on him. Jason Taylor, he's really, really trying 
to win another race as here comes Corbett. And here comes... Oh, they almost made full, full wide for the lead. Pollard going to the lead. Whoa, Corbett almost got turned. Here we go, only five to go, I think. Can Stephen Pollard the third make it be the first two in a row person? Or can can Stephen Pollard the third be the first guy to make it two in a row here in the Olive Garden Cup series? Comes one, he's going for the lead. Whoa, Pollard just put a really big block on him, but that didn't work. I got some lap cars here. They could be trouble. Here comes Colin Bartel and Dom Caps. Another underfunded team going up into the front. Wow, that would have been an exciting finish. As uh, This could be trouble for the leaders because they're coming very close to the lap cars of Matthew Ziegler and Ben Cannon. Here comes Caps for the lead. As Paulo dropping back once again. Can he make his way up into the front? I've seen some really, really great racing today. Oh, Zach Corbett almost turned Shake Smith. So here we go. These guys are finally speeding it up. As Paulo going to kind of drop back. Here comes Sand for us. Here we go. We only got two to go. Here from Digger. Digger. Does Pollard have enough time? Here comes Sanfer. As it is looking right now, it looks like they will catch up to the lap cars. Like I said, they are faster than the lap cars. Zeal and Cannon are going about 150, and these guys are going about 120. Are going about 202 as here comes Taylor for the lead. Can he possibly get another win? Oh, there they go! Stephen Pollard gets turned. It's a race back to the line. Looks like it's going to be Jason Taylor winning his fourth or fifth race of the season. Oh my gosh. Pollard just got dumped, I think. Wow. We're going to have to go see what happened there. Wow. I think Jake Smith was just going too hard with Corbett. And I and I feel bad for... Ooh, I feel bad for Pollard. He was up there into the front. And then he crashes. He's probably really mad right now. With a Jake Smith. Here it is again. Like I said... Either Jake Smith was just bump drafting too hard. I think he was. Yeah, Smith was bump drafting too hard with Corbett. And wow. They got Harvey and Murphy and Caps coming down to the pits. But Jason Taylor manages to get another win here this season from Talladega. Congratulations to Jason Taylor. Let's get you to the official results. Alright, here we go. Here are the official results. Jason Taylor wins. Bartel in second. Samper in third. Another good finish. Smith in fourth. Corbett rounds out the top five. They got one. Murphy caps. Harvey Cannon rounds out the top ten. Here's the rest. Finishing last will be Michael Ziegler. Alex Dawson. Another unfortunate run for that number 25 team. We'll see you guys for next race as here is the points.